Here we go, everybody. Mid segments in triangles. Now, mid segment does a couple things. A mid segment is first formed by the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. So we can take those two sides, and that is a mid segment. Now, what it does is, since they are midpoints, those two are going to be congruent, and these two are going to be congruent because it's going to bisect each one of those sides. But what else it does, it will tell you that these guys are parallel. The other thing is the mid-segment is half of the other side. So if this side was 10, this side would be 5. Okay? And that's what a mid-segment is. So, a couple of different things we'll do with this. First, we'll just find some missing pieces. So I'm telling you that AC, that's here, all the way to here, is 10. So what is that going to do? Let's just start with that. That means this is going to be 5, this is going to be 5, and it also means this is going to be 5, because remember, mid-segments are half of the third side. So there you go, the side it's parallel to. Now we also know that AE, so here all the way to here, is 12. Same thing, that means this is going to be 6, this is going to be 6, and the side that's parallel to it will also be 6. And the last part that we have, CE, is 8. You know what's about to happen. This is 4, this is 4, and that's 4. So that means, after you found everything, BF is going to be 4, BD is 6, and FD is 5. And that's it. You're done with that one. So we have a couple more examples here. Um, this one deals with angles. Now... Since you know that a mid-segment has some parallel lines, we can use our old alternate interior angles and corresponding angles to answer the rest of this question. So, the first thing we see is that angle 2 is an alternate interior angle with 50. So angle 2 is going to be 50 degrees. Now, from there, we can take it a couple of different ways. Um, we know that this side is also parallel to this. So if this is 50, so is this because of corresponding angles. And now you can use same side interior angles to say that angle 4 is 130 degrees and angle 3 is corresponding with angle 1, so that is also 50 degrees. Now there were a couple of different ways you could have found those. Um, when you're working with these puzzle type of problems, the order really doesn't necessarily matter how you find them as long as you find the correct answers. Okay? So that's it for that guy. Algebra problems. What do you know? You know that this is half the length of the bigger side. But that doesn't necessarily mean you want to multiply the big side by one half because what if this said 5x minus 1? then you'd have to deal with fractions. Not that there's anything wrong with fractions, it's just for some reason you guys don't like fractions. So to avoid that, instead of using a mid-segment as half the side, two times the mid-segment is equal to the side it's parallel to. So we can just multiply the mid-segment by two and set that equal to the other side. Okay? That'll give us 4x plus 10 is equal to 6x minus 4, which will tell us x is equal to 7. And that's it for that one. So there's one problem left. I would like you to find the perimeter of triangle ABC and the perimeter of triangle XYZ with the given diagram and information. Pause the video and give it a try. We'll see how you do. So if this is 7, this is 7, and this is 7. If this is 3, this is 3, and this is 3. If this is 12, that means this is 6, this is 6, and this is 6. So the perimeter of triangle ABC would be 6, 12, and 14. So add those together, and you get 32 units. And the mid-triangle will be half of that. So it will be 16 units. And that's it for this one. This is Longo and I'm out. See you, bye.